Hey guys, it's Emma here, and today I'm going to be doing a study, bath and body works haul, and um, it's relatively large. I got a lot of lotions. Um, because today they were having a three dollar deal. Um, I'm obviously not going to be keeping all of these for myself, but I figured it would be nice to do a collection video. And since it's the season, um, I figure we can start with the um, Christmas ones and work our way to the other ones. So, firstly, um, I have this really nice um, light pink one. Um, and this one is called Winter Candy Apple. And here, let me open it up. It's very, like, smell it. It's a very, like, clean scent. It kind of smells like shampoo, um, but it's also fruity. And the keynotes for this is red apple, winter rose petals, candy orange, maple leaf, and fresh cinnamon. cinnamon. Um, here, let me smell it again. I get a lot of winter rose petals, and I'm really not getting any, um, cinnamon, but I am getting a bit of apple. Now, I got this for, um, three dollars, and this is a full-size one. It's eight ounces, and typically it would cost twelve dollars and fifty cents, but I got it for three. Next one is this really pretty cream colored one and it's got a gold cap and I think that a lot of them might have gold caps and then on the front there's a little gingerbread house and a tree and this is called gingerbread latte. Let me open it up and smell it. Mm, okay, that one is a very, like, I love this one and it's very, very nice, nice smell. And it reminds me a lot of Vanilla Bean Noel. And what I'm going to do is actually take that out and do that next. We can compare the keynotes between them. So, the keynotes for this one is um, Santa's Gingerbread, Frosted Pear, Brown Sugar. Ah, oh, I think it's the brown sugar. Vanilla latte and whipped cream. And I'm smelling a lot of like chocolate. So it's like strange that there isn't any in it. But yeah, that is the gingerbread um latte. And when we were in the store, this one was definitely um my favorite. And I might have bought in another one of those. Yeah got two of the gingerbread lattes and um so next is the vanilla bean noel and this is a really classic one and I have this one in a mini candle as well as a um like mid-sized candle it's not one of the three wicks but it's one of the one wick candles and I basically used up both of those, but, so, this is a very, very, like, sweet smell. And it's this very pretty light green color. I want to open it up and smell it. Yeah, it's so sweet. Here, I want to open up the gingerbread one and smell it again. Yeah. 
they're both very sweet, but this one has a slightly more earthy scent, and I think that is from the pear that is in this, and I think that's mostly what sets it apart from this. And on the front, you can just see, um, I don't know if this is holly, and then there's a cute little star, and um, in this, there's French vanilla bean, warm caramel, sugar cookies, witch cream, and snow-kissed musk. And what I think makes this scent so enjoyable might be the musk. It just, um, it like hits you in the face with um, scent. So, next is, I'm trying to go through and find a Christmassy one. Here is a, another one of the Vanilla Bean Noel. Um, I just want to open it up and smell it again. It's very, like, um, I find that Bath & Body Works, their aesthetic improves year by year. Like, their designs get so much prettier every single year. And I was in the store today and their candles are so, so gorgeous. And they're just really stepping up their game. So next, and what I believe to be the last in the like festive or like wintry, not none of these are Christmassy, but like wintry um, lotions. Um, I got Winterberry Wonder. Um, and this one is a little bit different than the other ones because all these ones have a gold top, and this one has a silver top and actually the packaging for this one is beautiful. There is um like glitter that looks like snow and there's little berries down on the bottom and I don't know how well you can see but there's like a lot of glittery snow that is utterly gorgeous. Um, if you wonder why I keep looking over, I can see the reflection of the um, screen and I'm just paranoid that it stops recording. I'm gonna open this one up and smell it. I kind of forget what this one smells like. Mm. Yeah, this one is um, more like Flory, florally, and but it also has um, like fruitiness in it, and it reminds me a lot of the like non festive ones, like it smells like a very classic scent. And the keynotes, I definitely enjoyed this one quite a bit. Um, the keynotes are red winterberry, ruby apple, I think the apple. Might be what I'm smelling. Um, sparkling cranberry, snow kissed camellia, camilla. <laughs> I can't read. Um, and crystal vanilla. And this reminds me a lot of another scent, and I can't quite place what that scent is, which is annoying me a little bit. Um, and that was the last of the festive lotions. Um, so we have this one, and this one is called Moonlight Path. I don't believe I have ever had this one before. And it's this very, very pretty blue color, and it's more summery, or like springy, because there's the little flowers, and I like how drastically different the aesthetics are between the, like, summer or just classic collections and the winter collections. I like how seriously they take the change in seasons. Um, I'm gonna open this up and smell it. Um, that one's more like florally. Um, floral. I'm not like a huge floral fan, like I do enjoy floral quite a bit, but I much prefer the like sweet things. Um, but it's a really pretty light blue color. And the keynotes for this is Night Blooming Jasmine. Blue Violet, Sheer Lavender, 
Lily of the Valley and Sloth to Musk. I'm just gonna open this one up and smell it again. And the color is very pretty. I do like the color. It reminds me a lot of the color of the walls in my bedroom. Um, next, I really like how this one looks. It's called Pretty as a Peach. And it's very, very like beautiful, like peachy, pinky color. And there's just this really nice summer vibe going on with the packaging. And the, oh, this is so cool. The label is textured, so you can like feel the, you can hear it. It's um, textured, and I really, really like the font. And aw, oh, this is so cute. The little like pattern on the top. I'm gonna open this one up and smell it. Yeah, I really like that one. Like, I like, um, I do like the fruity smells too. And, um, the keynotes for this one is Blushing Peach, Jasmine Petals, White Nectarine. Apple Blossom in Sheer Freeze? I don't know. I just want to see how long this has been going for. Um, next is Japanese Cherry Blossom. I did not smell this one in the store. Um, I just bought it for... Because um, these are all for people. Because I don't need 10 lotions. And I know someone that likes the scent. Um, as I recall, I'm not the biggest fan, but I noticed with a lot of the, like, old colors, they changed the color a bit. I believe this one might have used to been, like, a different color. Um, but now it's white, and the packaging is different. And let's open it up. And this one is called Japanese Cherry Blossom, and there's pretty little red and white flowers. Some little like um, sparkles there. Yeah, that one's just like I don't know. It's a like clean and floral. And the keynotes for this one. Um, this is called apparently the little black dress fragrance. Beautiful. Timeless and undeniably feminine. I don't really like this one. It's apparently one of their best sellers, but the keynotes are Japanese cherry blossom, Asian pear, fresh mimosa petals, white jasmine, and blushing sandalwood. Honestly, um, I would love the smell of sandalwood and anything else. I'm not sure. I'm the biggest fan of um, the white jasmine. This is not, I didn't buy this today, but I, this is my favorite scent. It smells just like the beach, and I just wanted to reach over because I saw it and read the keynotes. This is called Honolulu Sun. It's my favorite scent. Um, they only sell it in the summertime, and I literally looked for it for two years, and I went to like eight Bed Bath, Bath and Body Works to find it. But the keynotes are Fresh Island Coconut, Pacific Palm, Ocean Air Accord, Sun Dried Citrus, and White Sand ones. Um, the last of the lotions, and this is a for men lotion, and I find their for men collection really funny. Um, one of them literally smelled like gasoline. Um, but it just, it smells like Old Spice. We have an Old Spice body wash in our shower. Because I have a brother, and this is for him. Um, but it smelled a lot like this. Um, it just smells manly, and apparently, um, men don't need keynotes. They don't, they don't care enough. Um, but from what I see, there's no, like, keynote, but they say blend of fresh cypress, vetiver, and cool ocean air, so I guess that's what this is. And that was the last of the lotions, and it must be so annoying to see me look over so much. I'm so sorry. I just, I don't know. 
I'm like spazzy. Ugh. This is the same thing that we got here. We probably shouldn't have gotten three of these. Um, but this one is for me. The lotions are not for me, but this is for me. We had a coupon for a free signature collection item. Um, and I'm just going to open this up because sometimes the body wash and lotion can smell a bit different. And I can already smell it like it's not even that close to my nose. Yeah, I think the um, lotion smells a little bit better than that. Um, but this one still has the scent of the lotion. all I bought. Let's get out the receipt and see how much I saved. So I ended up spending um, $21.25. I did have a $10 off coupon, but it doesn't... I saved $117. That's a lot of money. And I think I got a little coupon for um, Black Friday. Anyway, thank you guys. I'm so glad I did this in one take. Um, now I don't have to edit it and I can get it up tonight for you guys. So if you're seeing this tonight, I literally filmed it like two hours ago. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll leave links to Instagram and Twitter and my vlog channel in the description. Um, leave comments. I always read them. And I'll see you again probably next week. Bye!